prior to BJU, I know that you guys were looking for a DVM for over two years and you had one applicant. Now, after joining the program, what have you found as a result? Well, there's still not a lot of DVMs out there. <laughs> <laughs> but at least we have a strategy on how to make ourselves look as attractive and desirable as possible and a way to seek out other venues that we wouldn't have ever known before. Then having a strategy to kind of understand how the industry is going and make ourselves look. Be socially. Yeah, but I think. Visible. Our, be socially we, we visible. We had to learn how to be socially visible. And also how to, how to actually utilize the, the qualities of, of our clinic that are positive. I mean, before it was just, yeah, we're a vet clinic and here we go, but we do have a lot of positive factors and now we know to actually promote those. Yeah, I think you bring up a really great point, Scott. It's okay, we know that we're a great practice, but we didn't realize how to promote all of those special things that really make us unique compared to like all of the other hundreds of practices that are hiring right. in, in this competitive market. Now, once you joined BJU in the program, what did you find that you enjoyed most? partnering with us. I like being able to, when a situation cut came up, to be able to connect with somebody and have someone to help work through that. Um, so I thought that one-on-one -on -one, um, availability was really great. And even though like I don't email you directly and work that way, I, you guys make yourself readily available to be able to, um, uh, you know, to be able to help with any problem that came along. I liked your modules <clears throat> and, you know, the fact that you didn't give up on us, you know, you, you always made sure we scheduled another time with you so that it kind of re-energized us because there's so many other things going on and just being a veterinarian and then running a practice and keeping everybody happy and paying the mortgages and all that stuff. Sometimes we forget that we have to dedicate time back into what we're, our goal was and you guys kept us on our toes and that was a I appreciated that oh that's great news and that's great feedback for us I do think that we are going to I would say we, we kind of hold ourselves as your accountability buddy taking efforts putting aside time to work on recruiting be able to hire a DVM so that that person can come in and take off some of your workload ultimately right but sometimes yeah. it can be hard like you said because you're managing a practice you're also a practicing DVM and wearing 500 other hats, right? Yeah. Ultimately, what did you find as a result of joining the program? Well, we found a really good quality applicant, <laughs> yeah. you know, yeah. and, uh, and at this time she will be signing her contract, but yeah, I mean, yeah, we found a really good quality applicant. So yeah. And we also found ways to move forward in the future. Yeah. It won't feel so daunting next time. Right. Yes. So you guys have a extended offer to a DVM and she's going to be signing that offer on Friday. And then in the future, it sounds like you're going to be able to just leverage the skills that you learned to be able to hire other DVMs as well as the market continues to get competitive. Right. right. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And then would you say that you would recommend BJU to any other business owners or practice owners just like yourself? Yes. Absolutely. Yeah, I yes. would. Yes. Well, I think all the things we just said, but. <laughs> well, also, um, and you, you were very kind to us, but even the initial way, and I, I explained this to my wife the other day, I said, you know, we, we put in a good amount of money to you guys and you earned every penny of it and more. Yeah. This helped us a lot. Exactly. Oh, that means a lot to us.